Today on D&D Academia, we talk about the uncommon wondrous magic item, the Bag of Tricks. You can find this magic item in the Dungeon Master's Guide. This ordinary bag, made from gray, rust, or tan cloth, appears empty. Reaching inside the bag, however, reveals the presence of a small fuzzy object, like a tribble. The bag weighs a half pound. Now the item states that it's a fuzzy object, but I think you should mix it up a bit to where if it's a bird, perhaps it's a ball of feathers, or if it's a reptile, perhaps it's all scaly, so on and so forth. Maybe you pull out stuffed animals instead of balls. You can use an action to pull the object from the bag and throw it up to 20 feet. If you can be stealthy about this, you can cause quite the distraction. When the object lands, it transforms into a creature you determine by rolling a d8 and consulting the table that corresponds to the bag's color. If you are trying to figure out how to play those creatures, you can see the monster's listing for the creature's statistics. The creature vanishes at the next dawn, or when it is reduced to zero hit points. The creature is friendly to you and your companions, and it acts on your turn. You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what action it takes on its next turn, or to give it general orders, such as to attack your enemies. In the absence of such orders, the creature acts in a fashion appropriate to its nature. Something fun and interesting for the player and the dungeon master to think about is whether or not a creature is always the same creature or a different one each time. For instance, if you pull out a weasel, and then the next day you pull out a weasel as well, is it the same one? This is something to keep in mind as some people have the ability to speak to animals. Once three objects have been pulled from the bag, the bag cannot be used again until the next dawn. Here are the bag's contents as they currently work. If you feel like it, make the animals look however you want. Inside the gray bag you have a weasel, a giant rat, a badger, a boar, a panther, a giant badger, a direwolf, and a giant elk. The rust-colored bag has a rat, an owl, a mastiff, a goat, a giant goat, a giant boar, a lion, and a brown bear. And finally, the tan bag has a jackal, an ape, a baboon, an axe beak, a black bear, a giant weasel, a giant hyena, and a tiger. If you want to make it interesting, absolutely feel free to change out what beasts are actually in the bag. Now, I'm pretty sure you're going to know where I'm going with this, but as a suggestion, feel free to get creative. Not only with what the bag looks like, but what could be inside of it. Perhaps you could have a bag of fey creatures, or monstrosities, devils, or even the undead. The list goes on and on. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how this magic item works. This has been an episode of D&D Academia all about the Bag of Tricks. Now, if you did like this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if there is anything else you'd like to see on D&D Academia, please add your suggestions into the comments down below.